Hello, everybody, and welcome. Uh, welcome to today's session. Uh, let me know if you can see me uh, because I don't see my webcam. If you could add uh, where you're from and anything else in the chat box so we get an idea of uh, the different world that uh, you're coming from. Okay, there, we got you started. So Tom is here from Venezuela. Let me know if you're having problems with the chat or uh, with anything else. I'm going to refresh the page. So bear with me. Okay, so I'm refreshing the page because I don't see everything in there, which is kind of weird. So let's see if that helps. There we are. I can see myself. I don't know what happened there, but it's kind of strange, I must confess. All right, so uh, there you can see uh, you can see me and hear me, I presume. Uh, just let me know if it's uh, loud enough. So we've got Rena from, um, I'm not sure, and we've got Teus from Brazil. Yes, isn't it exciting? Uh, you must be so excited with the rest of the world. And we've got uh, Daria from the Ukraine. And we've got Italy. Okay, Rina, you're from Italy. Great. And Shauna. All right, people are going to be coming in as we go, which is very typical of live online sessions. And we're going to be talking about that today. So keep that in mind. We're talking about a class in real time and getting everybody into the class and the value of these live online sessions. Hello, Ajare. I'm glad you made it from Nigeria. And we've got Cyprus as well. Hello, Fire. So we're going to go through a little bit of uh, warm up but before we get started I want to make sure that uh, enough people come in so that they don't lose out. What is the value of a live online class? Real time, uh, we're from different parts of the world but we're here at the same time no matter what time it is in your area where you happen to be. We're in real time and think how crazy that is for people from different parts of the world to come together at the same time. And think of the logistics too, because it's not that easy. Hello, Heba from Egypt. If I miss a country, Serbia, Raymond, remind me. Okay, so we talked about understanding was I teach a teaching system. Uh, we talked about home and profile. How many of you uh, managed to get 100% on your profile. No, it wasn't easy for many, but how many did manage to get 100%? Give yourself a thumbs up, give yourself a thumbs down. I think I managed first time. So asking you to do this really got me doing it as well. And we've got Australia. Hello, Richard. So anybody get 100 on their profile? Just by being here, you're doing your very best. Okay, Tom, you got it. Excellent. Mm -hmm. OK, 
Okay, I got rid. I'm going to webcam from time to time. If you find that my webcam is draining your system, just click on it and you can stop it. It'll freeze and hopefully I'll be uh, more or less um, presentable. Excellent, Raymond. You're working on your PayPal. Very, very good. Yeah, a lot of people got stuck in the PayPal and they even asked, what is our, my PayPal ID? And your PayPal ID is just uh, an email. And let's see, Renjith, everyone is using the application using my handset. <laughs> so you're in the application. All right. So that's what we talked about in the first session. Second session was um, adding content. And our next session is going to be scheduling a class. And at the end of the month, we'll be talking about the breakout rooms. Okay, so this is for the month of June. July will be a new set of um, online teaching and learning. So let's get started with a warm up. Are you ready to get your hands ready for the warm up? Okay, this is a warm up and a review. Okay, to see uh, how you're managing. You don't get grades, it's just for you. And please feel free to uh, add your responses as we go. So the first one is, what is the link to today's presentation? The PowerPoint presentation that I just showed you, this one. Okay, it's called Courses Understanding the WizIQ System. So if you could add that in the chat box, we'll go one step at a time. So. Go through the first step. The first step is the link to today's presentation. Now, where are you going to look for it? Okay, just a, oh, Ajara doesn't know. Where are you going to find it? Okay, we're looking for content. Okay, content and then tutorial. Tutorial. Okay, content and tutorial. Content is on the left, tutorial is in the center. So I see uh, Dalin found it. Let's see if that's correct. Okay, the rest of you go through the process. It's, oh no, I don't have the right length there. It, uh, it's not correct. So try again. Oh, uh, is it difficult? In the system that you're using? All right, so. Uh, Let's um, let's go there. Okay, let me take you. I'm going to uh, screen share so that I can show you where it is. All right, so I'm screen sharing. It'll take a few seconds until the system gets initialized. In the meantime, I hope you can hear me because sometimes the whole system is frozen. Okay, so let's see how long it takes. If you're timing it, that would be great. All right, so... Uh, there, my system is asking me to allow different things. And that was pretty fast. Anybody time me? All right, so let's, uh, let's move on here with uh, the course. Okay, we're going into the course. The course is called Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology. I'm going a bit fast here, so uh, bear with me. Okay, because I'm going to the top. All right, so the name of the course is Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology. The link is right here to the course, but I'm going to go to the content. Okay, and the content is right here, and you, you can see that in the courseware, sorry, the courseware, and you can see that there are tutorials, classes, and assignments. If I click on tutorials and I scroll down, quite a ways here. I should be able to get today's. Okay, this is the long way of doing it. And it's in twice. Okay, so I click on it. And then I get a link in my browser window, I copy it. And then I can take it to class. So that's the process. I just want to show you that there is another way of doing it, and that's going to the course feed. Okay, let's go to the course feed and see. Okay, under the course feed, you have schedule activities. You'll find understanding the teaching system, which is a class 
and then you should be able to get the PowerPoint presentation, which is right here. And this is the easiest way. Okay, here it is again. It's in twice. Okay, so uh, here you can add your comments and interact with your students with the content, and they can also interact with one another. Okay, so I'm going back to class. Here I am. I'll stop the screen sharing. There, I just stopped it. And then I can add it to the chat box. So there it is. Okay, that's the correct. And you can see that it says tutorial, WizIQ tutorial. And then it says the name, Courses Understanding the WizIQ System for Teaching. Now I want you to notice that what you're going to do in order to remember all this is you're going to do as I did. You're going to demonstrate how you get a link to a presentation. You're going to demonstrate the next one. Number two, what is the link to your account on WizIQ? We all have an account and everything has the link. Everything has a link, just like on Moodle. Everything has a link. And this is how you can share different things. So um, I'm going to screen share again to take you there. Okay, start screen sharing. I'm going to go back to the course. I don't know what this is. Back to the course. Okay, here's the course. Now this time I'm going to go to my account. Notice, am I going to go to home or to my name? Well, I'm going to go to my profile under my name. And this is where I get the link to my profile. Okay, so here it says WizIQ profile link. I can also edit. And this is my link. You see it? I'll click on it and then I will see it in the browser window. And then you can see all the courses. Okay, so here it is in my browser window. I'll copy it from the browser window. This is where you get links, okay, in the browser window. Then I'm going to go into the class. Okay, here I am. I'm back in class. You'll see this in the recording. If you're not seeing it now, I'm going to add it to the chat box. So this says, hi, Helena. This is how we share the link. The links are always in our browser window. Whether we use Firefox, Safari, Explorer, I don't know what you use, but whatever it is, it's in your browser window. Okay, so there it is. Okay, and I want you to share. Share your link, the link to your account. And if you have two accounts, share two of them. And in fact, I have more than two, but let me share it with my other one. It's always www.wizIQ.com, and then uh, what you decided will be your, um, your link. You can decide. Remember, we talked about this. You can decide what you want your account link to look like. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so I'm waiting... For you to see if you can find it. If there are any questions, please feel free to ask them in the chat. So this is not a presentation. This is learning and practicing what you learn. Okay, so uh, you can't sit back and enjoy the view because there's no view. <laughs> you have to uh, do something to gain an understanding of the teaching system on WizIQ. Yay, Mark! Okay, so Mark, can you add it in the chat box? Awesome! Great! I'm so happy. Look, it's a it's a step by step learning process. It takes time, so be patient with yourself. And every time you do something good. Give yourself a star. Okay, pat yourself in the back. Okay, it really, really does help. Don't wait for somebody else to do it. Do it for yourself. All right, so we've got Mark there. We've got Darling. Excellent. Oh, Darling, it doesn't look right. It says user profile. 
and mm -hmm. that will not work out. No, it has to say your name, uh, Dolly, and you have to be a teacher, I think. How do you add a star? You go into the smiley where you add the chat on the right. There's a smiley. You click on the smiley, and then you'll get all kinds of smileys. You'll get claps. You can give yourself a clap, too. I mean, that's that's fine. Okay, <laughs> that's right. Thank you, Mark. Oh, right, right. Doesn't exist in the iPad yet. Right, they don't have this. I'm sorry. So, uh, as a teacher, you're, you can teach through the iPad, but you will be limited at this time. So I suggest you uh, come in a regular computer. Laptop is fine. Okay, so there we got Helena. I can tell that it's www.wizIQ.com, and then you can see her name. Very good, Helena. You got it. Okay, excellent. These are skills, very important skills that we need to teach our students, too. Okay, um, their skills of teaching and learning and marketing and doing different things online. Okay, these are digital skills. You didn't get it, Daria. Okay, so it's not at the same as the public profile. Yes, it is your public profile. That's exactly what it is. Ajare, yay, you got it. I can see that you, oh no, you didn't. What happened? Let's see. Oh, I see what happened. You left out an important element. You left out a slash there. Okay, I got it for you. Okay, there, Ajare, let me get it for you. There, okay, that should be correct. Yes, it's correct. Excellent, very good. All right, and then uh, let's see, uh, Duli, let's see if you got it. You have a number there. You got it. No, you, yes, you did. You got it, and you're from Thailand. Excellent. Now, Duli, you can change that to your name. See, right now it has a number, 194843, um, and so on. Maybe because you're not a teacher. You should all become teachers, okay, if you want to teach online. At WizIQ, you have to change your account to a teacher account. Okay, and if you want to know how that's done, you may need to go to support. All right, so uh, let's continue here. Anybody else need help? I can't go back to the class once I leave it. Really? Okay, so maybe I'll tell you what I do to make my life easy. There's a link. Um, there's a class link that you can use. Okay, here's one. I think it'll work for you. But you have to, as Thomas mentioned, you have to leave and then click on that one. So you have to leave the class and click on it. Let's see, Giselle. Let's see if you got it. Uh, it looks like it's the succession. You're doing, let's see what you're doing here. Oh, excellent. Whoops. Okay, that's correct. That is correct, Giselle. I just checked it out. Excellent. All right, next question, number three. You'll get this. Number three. Number three is what are the link to, I think I added it, learn to blend and flip with technology. It says error because you have to leave where you are, Guadalupe. You need to leave where you are and then add that. So leave this class and then open it. You can't hear me? Oh, you're right, you can't hear me. Yes. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, now you can hear me. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, you can, yeah, I know. It says there was an error. Again, Guadalupe, you need to leave the class. There, Darly, Dar Daria, you got it. Now, if you wanna change that number, you can do that. Excellent. Very good. All right. Loud and clear. Yes. No, it it uh, kind of got... You got it. Exactly. So give yourself a star. Yes. Give yourself a star. You deserve a star every time you get something right. Okay. What is the link to the one course in your account? Mm -hmm. So number four, one course in your account. 
and you should have a few courses. If you don't have a course, you should add a course. And how do you add a course? You go into courses and you pick a course. And make sure that it's free because you don't want to pay just to join a course. Uh, well, let's see. Farouk says, I will come all of you. Greetings. Greetings. Yep. Thank you, Farouk. From Kashmir. Without losing it? Losing it? Hello, Center Cultural <laughs> from Michigan. Oh, Khalil. Nice to see you. Don't tell me you're in Michigan. All right, so Khalil, there are uh, five warm-up questions. The first one, what is the link to today's presentation? The second one, what is the link of your account? Third one, what is the link to Learn and Blend? The fourth one, what is the link to one course in your account? Tom, is that a link to your account, to a course? Let's see what course we're getting here. We're getting a lot of courses. We're not getting one course. Okay, so let me show you how you get one course. Okay, now this is really important, this kind of warm-up, because it helps you find out whether the participants, your students, whether they have mastered what you wanted them to master. And I'm seeing here that many of you have not, which is wonderful, because it offers me a chance to help. Okay, so I'm going to go into screen sharing, go into the course, all right? And here's the course, and I see a lot of windows are open here. Helena, okay, everything that I had added, that I clicked on, okay. So let me go into my home, okay, home. And then on the right, I will see teaching courses, the under courses on the right, teaching courses learning courses, and all. So if I click on learning courses, I will get these courses. There's Jason, the courses that I'm enrolled in, German. Okay, these are different courses that I enrolled in. If I want to get all of them, I go to view all. And these are all of my courses. Now, how do I get to the course? I need to click either on the name of the course or the icon the image, okay? So let me go to the image, and then I'm in the course. Now notice what I do here. The link to the course is not in my browser window. This time, it's not, okay? The browser window is going to give me the whole page. I'm going to go to over here where it says share the course. Under share the course on the bottom right, I have the link. See, copy, link. It's copied. So I'm going to go back to class and share this with you. So I'll stop screen sharing. There I am. And add it. Yeah, I think you got it there. Very good. You've got a class. That's a class, um, Palmer. Or is that Richard? That's a class. Okay, it says class, online class. It does not say course. It also says, yeah, it's an online class. I'm looking for a course. Notice, I have www.wizIQ.com slash course. Okay, that's a course. So actually, the link gives me information. Okay, notice the information that I'm getting here. It says course. Okay, so if you click on that, you'll get to a course. Every course has a link but you will not get the course link in the browser. You will only get it at the bottom left, a right-hand corner. Okay, so let's see. There, you got it, Giselle. Exactly. And Raymond, you got a long course. Let's see. Uh, yes, you got it. Okay, that's to sign up for the course. Very good, Raymond. Let me get the short link of what Raymond. Here it's in the uh, browser window. Excellent. Now how do you get the course in the browser window? Very good Raymond. There I've just added it. Okay, the same course link that Raymond had added, I added 
and it's a shorter version. Let me show you how that's done. Okay, so I'm going to screen share again and go into the course. Now this time I'm going to go back into my account. Okay, so this is my account. I'm going to go into my into home, not my name, into home because home is where my courses are and everything else. And this time I'm going to go into the search engine, top left. Do you see it was IQ courses? This is where I can find courses, teachers, classes, tutorials, and tests. Now I'm going to look for a course and I'm going to look for the word English. I want to find a course in English. Okay, and then notice what I get. Lots and lots of courses. I'm going to go into a course that I'm not registered in. Let's see, a free course. Oh, this one's free. Pirates. Wow, that sounds exciting. Pirates. Okay, now if I go into this course, because I'm not registered, I will find the link in the browser window. But once I register for this course, okay, it says I can't enroll for this course. Maybe the course is finished. Maybe it has a quota. Okay, so this is the link. I can still get the link. Okay, in the browser window because I haven't joined this course yet. But once you join a course, the link will appear at the bottom right hand side. Okay, any questions? Let's get to number five. Number five is a link to one class. Okay, and that's the last of the warm up. Link to one class. Okay, so see if you can get a link to one class. If you're lost, give me a thumbs down. You'll be able to go through this a bit slower next time. And you can also view the recording. Very good, Mark. I see you've got a course there, Teaching with Moodle. And Mark, that's a Spanish. Uh, it looks like a course, a Spanish course. Very good. Guadalupe. Go to your account under home, the top right, or, and you can find your courses, a list of all your courses. Tom, you have a class, <laughs> and it looks like it's this class. That's right. Excellent. That's a class. If you want to find Daria, you got a course. Very good. And is that Richard? You also seem to have a class there, a live online class. Can't, you can't hear me again? Okay, wait. Uh, okay, it should be fine now. Okay, um, I see that the sound is getting weird. Okay, let me let me raise the uh, the sound here. I'll make it louder. There, it should be. Let me make it. It should be fine now. Okay, I've raised it a bit. I hope it's not too loud because then it could be noisy. Okay, be louder. Yes, it is louder. Tanya, let's see, you got a course there. Very good German language group. Oh, it doesn't mean anything, Farouk. It doesn't have a meaning. It's just a name of uh, what the company decided to call itself. Okay, so we're going to stop with the warm ups. And. Um... Oh, I see Guadalupe. Guadalupe, please email me. I'm sorry to hear that email me. If you have any problems and you don't seem to get it, don't wait. Email me. Okay, please. Very good, Helena. There's your course on Polish history and culture. That's right. Excellent. Okay, so uh, today's session is about, we did a little warm up and now we're going to create a course. But I wanted you to understand that a course has a link. Okay, very important. And when you Recruit students to your course or participants, whatever you want to call them, learners. You want to be able to share a link with them. You can share the link in uh, Facebook, in LinkedIn, Scoopit, Pinterest, Twitter, uh, Google Plus, communities, Google communities, whatever you want to share it, but you want to be able to share the link. All right, with IQ, and this is very easy, it may look complicated, but with IQ has 
private and public courses, paid and free courses. Now, the private courses can be paid or free, and the public courses can be paid or free. Okay, so questions. Every time I uh, go to the next slide, let me know if there are questions about this so far. Hello, Tomek. Good to see you from Poland. Wow, nice to have you here. Okay, you missed the warm up, but you can do it afterwards. And Brian, welcome. All right, so let's. Um, you've seen this, but it's very hard to actually use the information on this slide unless you actually practice. Okay, practice is really, really important. So notice this is what your the layout of your WizIQ should be. So how many of you see something like this, left, center, and right, when you go into home in your account? Okay, give me a thumbs up. I know that Guadalupe does not, okay? And I'm glad that um, I learned that. Okay, so go into your account right now and see if this is what you see. You might have less information, of course. You don't have administrator because you don't have an organization. But this is what it should look like. No, Davy. So if you don't, if it doesn't look like this, it means under home, it may mean that you don't have a teacher account. Okay, Davy, we want to change that. We want you to have a teacher account. And if you're having problems getting a teacher account, please email me and I'll make sure that you have a teacher's account. Yeah, thumbs up, sorry. Same here, it looks different. Okay, Sophie, please email me, okay, nellydeutsch at gmail.com and I'll make sure that, uh, that it looks like this because otherwise you're not going to be able to uh, advance as a teacher. Okay, great. Anybody else? All right, so on the left, under home, you will see content, connections, if you have an organization, teacher, learner, and so on. In the center, you have your update status, like on Facebook, and you have other information, your followers, people that follow people. It's a social aspect. You can also, Helena, oh, that's another course. No, it's a tutorial. Very good, Helena. That's a presentation. On the right, you have create a paid course, create a private course, create a MOOC, schedule a live class, create a test, and upload content. Do you see this in your account? David, do you see? John, sorry, do you see that? Oh, it's okay? Brian, you don't. Okay, Brian, you need to get a teacher account. Okay, so please email me. It should all look the same, Brian, okay? Ravi, excellent. All right. So again, under home, you see this, okay? Under your name, you will see the following information. This is just a review. Number one is your name. Number two are the messages here that I have here. Number two, profile settings, privacy, your preferences. Number three, your time zone and your PayPal account because you do want to get paid. And then number four, get followers. Okay, so that's under your name. You should all have this. Everybody should see this under their name. Could you check that now? Check your account and see if you have all this information under your name, under number one. That's right, Tom, thank you. You don't see that, Brian. Ah, Benina. Benina, do you see this under your account? Okay, great. So email me and we'll take care of that. All right, so we're looking at the right. Okay, Brian, this is what you should see. We're looking at the right under home. Okay, this is under home. Home, your profile, under your profile, you will see settings, membership status, and so on. And then you will see this under home. I'm not sure, Tom. 
I don't think so. I think there are other ways you'll have to check with support because I know that some countries do not have PayPal. In fact, I know that India didn't have PayPal for a few, uh, for a few years there. Oh, they don't have anything else? Really? I thought they did. I thought they're, there's a checking or check account or bank to bank. Let me check for you. Remind me, Tom. Send me an email. I think as far as I know, there, there used to be. And then create, you can create, as I said, a paid account, a private, or a MOOC. And a MOOC is public. Okay. And the layout. Okay. Notice that to create a paid account, or a private or a MOOC, these are all the same. They will have the same layout. This is the new WizIQ. You will get this pop-up, which bothers a lot of people. I don't know if you've seen this. How many of you have seen this pop-up? General guidelines for users. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thumbs up if you've seen this. Thumbs down if you haven't. You haven't, Giselle? All right, if you see it, Tom has, Helena has, Brian has, because Brian, I think you've got the wrong layout there. I think you're probably a student or something and not a teacher. Andrea has, okay, right, Guadalupe, because you're a student. In any case, students cannot create courses. They have to have a teacher account. But Guadalupe, I think you do have a teacher account, maybe with another one, because I think I got you a premium account, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is a student account. All right, if you get this, just save it. It's going to pop up just to make sure that people are aware. Next, it's under guidelines. So don't open this up unless you want to have it in front of your screen there. All right, so there are two venues. There's the red and the green. And they're side by side like this. The blue is live course with a weekly schedule. In other words, it's like the courses that I give, live classes and a course, like the MOOC. Okay, the Moodle MOOC has uh, live classes and it has tutorials and it has everything that a course has. The green one is self-paced with sections. There are no live classes, maybe recordings, but no live classes. How many of you think you would like the red. I called it blue, but actually it's red. How many would like the red with the red box? That kind of course. Red. You would. Thumbs up if you, yeah, okay, thank you, Shanna. Okay, that means with the live classes. There are a lot of advantages to having live classes, but that means that people have to be there at a certain time, okay? So it's limited by time. It's time-based, very time-based. Okay, on the other hand, hello, Katerina. On the other hand, oh, okay, you're not sure, Mark, or you don't know, right? You'd like both, Sophie. Yeah, yeah. You're going to try both, Ravi. Okay, so how many would like the green? The green means it's self-paced. Self-paced is nice. It means that uh, you work with students, but there are no live classes. No live classes. So there's... If you live in Australia and people live in Europe, you're never going to meet. It's going to be very hard to meet. Okay, and vice versa. If you've got students from Australia and you're a teacher from Europe, you're going to have to give classes in the middle of the night at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so there are problems to live, to scheduling live classes. Okay, something to think about. Okay, so let's get started. This is what you're going to be doing. So um, pay attention. Both the uh, live classes and the self-paced classes look the same, okay? They all have a course title, but they don't have the number of weeks. Only the live classes have the number of weeks, okay? The course, they both have the course outline, but it doesn't have, the uh, self-paced does not have live classes okay so this is only for courses that are not self-paced okay and this is what it looks like very different so richard you're from australia right okay now you need to create a profile for yourself this is just a demo 
So you'll get the title, subtitle, you need to have a category. If you don't have a category, the course is not going to go to the next page. And then the course highlights, if you want more course highlights, you can add more, okay, right here. So actually it's quite self-explanatory, you go through it, but I just want to show you what's there, you don't have to remember all this, you're going to be using it. Okay, and then it gives you a chance to write about the course, you can add a video. How many would like to add a video explaining what the course is about? So let me know in the chat if you like the idea of a video. I love the idea of a video. Okay, so videos are really catchy. Uh, people enjoy them. It's a way to communicate. Makes you feel connected and makes uh, the participants feel connected. So it's a great way of connecting among uh, everyone. And then, but that's a choice. You don't have to. And you can embed the videos. It can be YouTube, Scribd, Vimeo, SlideShare. You can also add a PowerPoint. And you can even add MoveNote. For those of you who like MoveNote, you can add the MoveNote instead of a video. Okay, so anything that you could embed. Oh, audio. Um, you can uh, add an audio. Yes. You can add an audio if you can embed it. Okay, everything has to be embedded. Okay, that's the only way it works. Okay, you need to embed it. Next, the course fee. If you want to have, if you want to make money on the course, and I hope you all do, because I think it's really important for us to understand that our time is valuable. And why should we not make money? So I hope you feel confident enough to charge money. So you can charge in US dollars. And you can also have your course uh, marketed by WizIQ. Okay. And then you can have your payment by PayPal. You need to add your PayPal ID, which is your email. Okay. And next is about yourself. You'll be writing, adding the videos I said embed here. You can also add an image from WizIQ or from your for the course. Okay, it's nice to have an image. And then you invite the learners, number one, by adding their emails. Even if it's a paid course, you could invite them. And then you can add a personal message. You can keep this as a draft at every stage. Now, number four is really important because you might not have all your ideas, you know, at your fingertips. You might want to think about it. You might want to have dinner and come back. So you save it as a draft and then you can come back. Would it be possible to use a software of classes for free or should I pay for using my virtual class running courses? Um, if you're a teacher, Daria, you get it for free. Okay, let me uh, add the link. Teachers get WizIQ for free. Okay, Um if you work, yes, if you work for an organization, for a school. Okay, so let's see, academic, there. Okay, that's the link, uh, Daria. Oh, that's a good question, different time. If you want to give private lessons, then it's a private course, Tanya. You can have a private course for each student, and then you can uh, charge accordingly. Okay, so a private tutor. You might want to have courses for more than one student. You might want to have a course that's private for each student individually. Or maybe you want two students together. Okay, but it's not open to the public. Okay, next you review and then you publish. Now that was the with the live classes. Now the self-paced looks exactly the same, but it doesn't have any live classes. But again, you write the name of the course, but here you add sections. Okay? Every section is a topic. Okay, so you can add more than two sections, and then you go on to the next stage. You can save it as a draft at every stage. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Okay, title, subtitle, category, you have to have a category, highlights of the course, and then about the course, the same as 
the non-self paste, and then you add a logo, you can add a video to promote it, your payment, and about yourself. It's all the same. Okay? And then you add your phone number if you want. You don't have to. Your address if you want. Your email and your website. And the language of instruction. Notice you can teach in any language. Where's IQ Live Classes comes in many languages. It comes in Arabic, which is from left to right. Oh, no, sorry, from right to left. Arabic is from right to left. Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, Portuguese, Greece, Greek, uh, Russian. Did I miss a language? Swedish, Ukrainian. Uh, I'm not sure Ukrainian or Russian. Isn't the writing the same? It depends on the writing. Um, Hindi. Ravi, I haven't checked that. But I presume there is. Okay. Oh, it's not? Okay, Russian and Ukraine are very different. Sorry about that. I thought the, I thought the, um, the letters were similar. Um, yes, you can, Tanya. You can integrate. It's not calling embedded. It's called integrate. You can integrate WizIQ into any website. You can integrate it into Moodle. You can integrate it into Canvas, Blackboard. No, Canvas, I'm not sure. Blackboard into BB Blackboard 2. Okay, so keep that in mind. You can have it in any language. And if you want a language that WizIQ doesn't have, email me and I'll, um, I'll ask them to get your language. They're very good at it. So if there's a language you don't have, email me. Okay, and I'll see if I can give a good word and then get it done. Okay, now if you didn't add everything that was required, it'll not go to the next one. Okay, so uh, make sure that everything that is required is there. Okay, and then you invite the learners or the participants. Okay, don't click on this use guidelines because you'll get that thing in front of you again. It's upsetting. So number one, invite them again. And then you can add a personal message, save as a draft. I've mentioned this before. And then you submit your course for WizIQ. It says here your online course will be reviewed and approved by the WizIQ course team. Now, the reason they review it is because they want to make sure that your course can be marketed, okay, and that it has everything in it. Ah, uh, Giselle, you don't have to. Only if you, you don't have to. What you're asking is, what is the value? Well, sometimes people want to add it to their websites. I have it on Moodle because I find it very convenient for my students to stay in one place. But you don't need to. Of course not. It has the same features. It's the same class. You can't tell the difference, Giselle. Okay? It looks exactly the same. Uh, and it costs money, so I do it. You're right. Uh, okay. You uh, submit the course. Okay? And then this is the way it will look. Okay, this is my test course. It's under... Notice I have 29 active courses. One is in draft, one is passed, and my submission for WizIQ is a silly course that I just, it's just a demo course that I created. All right, the next stage is to practice and reflect because we want you to remember, and you want to remember things too. And it's not a question about memory, it's a question about uh, practicing so that it becomes a part of your everyday skill. Okay, so notice here, what you're going to do is you're going to create two courses. You can always put them in draft, okay? Do not submit, put them in draft. But I want you to document. What does it mean to document as you create the courses? As you create the courses, document. Okay, you can use screen, cast, Omatic, which is completely free. You can create a PowerPoint presentation and um, use Jing to cut screenshots for the screenshots, or you can use anything else for the screenshots and add the screenshots to um, a PowerPoint presentation. 
and then use move note so that you get your voice movenote.com okay any questions about the task Tanjo? now you got to do both the weekly and the self-paced two courses they could be paid or not paid doesn't matter but you're going to uh, create a self-paced course and a non-self-paced course and why are you doing this? Because by doing it, you will remember what you did. And you'll get a certificate of completion for doing something that will help you. Yes, exactly, Helena. You will show the process. Okay, using screencast o matic or a PowerPoint presentation, add the screenshots, and use MoveNote. Okay? Now, are there any questions? Please ask questions in the course feed. Okay, the course feed is on the left of the course. And what course am I talking about? I'm talking about Learn to blend and flip with technology and what is the link to the course oh you can do that you can use author stream um, yes you can you can actually add your voice to the powerpoint and tom you can also instead of move note you can also use if you don't want to use your real voice you can use a machine voice, <laughs> okay? You can use um, other means. Uh, Katerina, you don't have an account. Um, an account is free, Katerina. You go into WizIQ and you get a teacher account, www.wizIQ.com. Um, I'll give you the one for academic, academic, there. Okay, that's a question. How do you submit the task? Okay, very good, Andrea. You submit it like this. Okay, this is how you do it. You create a video. You write a 500-word reflection. You create a video of your reflection, in other words, the process of what you did, and you share the link. All you need to do is share the link in the assignment box, okay, or task, okay, in the assignment box, okay, share the link, okay, so. Uh, Let's go through this. Okay, first of all, you give the title, the date, and uh, whatever you did. Okay, let me uh, take you there now to give you a better idea of what I mean. Okay, let me screen share and take you there. Okay, so I'm going to screen share. Okay, let me go to class and show you how it's done. Okay. Okay, I'm in the course. Okay, let's go to the course. Okay, I'm in my account in the course. Okay, the course is called Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology. Okay, this is the course. There is the link to the course. I'll copy it and share it in the chat. I go into Home. And then over here at the top right, I click on create a paid course. Okay, I get this annoying thing. I get rid of it. And then I start with a weekly schedule. And I create the course. And then I create this course, which is self-paced. So let's start with this. I click on it. And then as I'm doing this, I screen share using... 
Screencast-O-Matic so that I can show what I'm doing. And I say, okay, I'm going, I'm writing the name. The name of the course is uh, Hello, Dolly. And then I go through the process. Okay, let me go back to class before we get timed out. Okay, uh, there we go. So let me add the link of the course. There we are. There's the course. Uh, Tom, you're talking about this, the warm-up. That's just a warm-up. Okay, so there's the link. You go into assignments over there, okay, in the course. And under assignments in the course, it says assignment. You go into assignment. And uh, in the courseware, assignments, and then you do the assignment. It says understanding the WizIQ system for teaching. And it's there. Okay, so uh, that's how it's done. Okay, now there's a lot of stuff here. So I really think you should ask questions. Questions are really important because they're going to help you move. No questions will be very hard to understand what's going on. You can't absorb everything, but you can, you know, get it if you ask questions. Work a little, practice, try to create a course. Okay, so go into courses, create a course, ask questions if you're stuck, continue ask questions, but you have to do something. If you don't do anything, if you don't create a course, you're not going to have questions. Okay. Questions do not come unless we're doing something. Okay. So please start. There's a question there. Sophie says, can, I, can you have one course with several self-paced sessions plus one live class all in the same course? Uh, no, you could have a recording though, Sophie. But I know what you mean. If you want it to be uh, a combination, then I would go for the uh, for the weekly. And you don't have you can have it two weeks. You don't have to have it every single week of the month. Oh, very good, Giselle. Okay, so there's the link again. If you haven't joined the course, please do. I want to read Dostoevsky, Tolstoy. Oh, that sounds like an interesting course. Well, there's a lot of information here, but it's what's important is to turn the information into reality and uh, creating courses. Okay, so the idea is to create courses. Okay, two courses. Okay, that's the... Um, the assignment. Create uh, two courses and ask questions. Okay, it's to create two courses. Sorry, create two courses, one weekly and one self paced, and document by providing tutorials. Document what you do and ask questions. Okay, and if you haven't joined the course, it's learn to blend and flip with technology. And there it is. Ah, how do I find students? That's a good question. We'll get to that. We'll get to finding students once you create your courses. We're going to do it step by step. There are lots of ways of getting students. We're going to be talking about that in the month of July. So June is just getting started. You're going to create classes. Next lesson, we're going to learn how to schedule classes. Yes, it is. It's very, very important because what's the point of having a course if you don't have anybody in it? All right. So thank you. Okay. Please email me if you have any questions or anything that you'd like to ask. I'm always, uh, I answer, I respond very quickly to emails. I don't respond as quickly on WizIQ because I find it kind of clunky. So you can send me an email. 
how many sessions the sessions go on forever and if you want to get a certificate by the way you need to do 20 presentations okay so um, it's a year long process so thank you thank you everybody and I'm looking forward to um, your questions Okay, so go to the course feed. I suggest you copy the chat. There's copy chat. We'll be talking about the live class um, next week. There's copy chat. Let me know if you copy the chat. You got it, Mark and the Nina. Excellent knowledge train. <laughs> what a name. Love that knowledge train. What a name for an organization. Perfect chat copy. Thank you, Tom. Great. All right. So thank you for joining and we'll see you next week. Bye for now. Uh, Ravi had a question why I wasn't able to join this class. Uh, Ravi, if you could add that question or send me an email about that. Um, if you copy chat, you'll see my email too. Bye-bye. Uh, this is being uploaded to YouTube. You'll get the YouTube uh, link later on today.